Hi, hello and welcome again, Oliver here. And in this video, I want to show you how to make permanent slides that are dry mounted, dry mounted permanent slides. A little bit of uh, background information first. Uh, normally you use a mounting medium that uh, turns solid um, if you want to preserve a specimen on a microscope slide. So you basically uh, place the uh, mounting medium on the slide, a specimen goes uh, inside and then the cover glass. And after some time, uh, the mounting medium is gonna turn solid and then you ha basically have a specimen slide that maybe can store even a hundred years. Um, however, under certain circumstances, they actually might make sense uh, to uh, simply place uh, the specimen in air and put a cover glass on top of it without any mounting medium. Um, this, for example, can be the case if the mounting medium actually destroys the specimen, this could be a possibility or if uh, for example in some cases uh, certain mounting media they dissolve certain pigments okay and then the pigments they kind of uh, uh, get out of the specimen and uh, you, you kind of lose the pigment um, and for this reason usually the choice of the mounting medium is, is, is pretty important so that it's compatible with the specimen and in some cases uh, you don't want to use any mounting medium at all uh, normally this is uh, not something that you would do because the mounting medium is also very important for for the image quality because of the refractive index that it has it actually makes uh, the image appear the, the, the specimen appear um, yeah in, in higher resolution and in better quality but under certain circumstances maybe maybe it's a good idea not to use any mounting medium at all and here for example i have a dryly mounted uh, permanent slide of sand okay and uh, because i want to be able to shake it around a little bit and then i want to be able to observe the sand in a very natural um, yeah way without uh, it being in any way modified by um, by a mounting medium for example for stereo microscopy that's actually a pretty good thing okay um, and what I'll be doing is, is I'll be showing you a couple of uh, methods um, and it's like this that there are essentially two things that you have to worry about um, the first thing is, is how do you actually hold the cover glass in place that is one thing and the second question is, is um, you do not want the cover glass to press down on the specimen too much so you need some kind of a spacer okay so the, the, if, if this is uh, the, the slide then, and the cover glass then it should be some space between the two so that there is enough uh, uh, space for the specimen in, in between, okay? And uh, what I'll be using is, is I'll be using um, this uh, nail polish um, as a, um, um, yeah, um, um, as a glue, so to say. Um, and I'm going to be showing this to you. So let's get started. The easiest way of making a dry mounted slide is simply to use slides with an indentation. These slides are a little bit thicker and I use the nail polish to stick uh, the cover glasses uh, to the slide. You can see that while the nail polish dried it started to form some bubbles but they do not really disturb um, very much. Um, all of the excess nail polish can be easily removed with a sharp knife uh, so you have to simply wait a few hours until everything's dry and then it uh, goes off quite nicely with uh, a very sharp uh, razor knife um, and uh, the sand is able to move freely because there uh, is so much space in between and the second possibility is simply to use some sticky tape to directly connect the cover glass with the slide in this case i simply put a little bit of tissue paper as an example dry mount um, and uh, here too it can be trimmed off with a sharp knife uh, can be made quite quickly in five minutes and uh, the disadvantage in this system here is is that there is not enough space between the cover glass and the slide if the object is very thick uh, so we need uh, to think of something else if we need a little bit more space another possibility would be now to use again the nail polish uh, to make such a spacer and now i'm using the nail polish to glue um, two cover glasses to the slide and now the cover glasses themselves will now act as a spacer um, and uh, this is also quite easily done as you can see do not use too much uh, nail polish otherwise it's going to take too long uh, for the nail polish to dry and then uh, i can again place a specimen um, in the little gap and use again a little bit more nail polish to stick a third cover glass um, across it now um, it is like this that on the top and on the bottom there is no um, it is not uh, covered um, so this means th there's the possible for possibility for the specimen to fall out i would suggest that you use again tape uh, to also seal that off and here you can see how i'm removing um, all of the excess uh, nail polish uh, using a sharp knife um, it's not completely dried yet um, and I think I should have waited maybe a few more hours but I hope you get the point.
Okay. And uh, last but not least, um, um, it is like this. If you try to directly use nail polish uh, to glue the cover glass to the slide, you're going to see that because of capillary action, the nail polish is going to contact uh, um, the specimen. This is, of course, to be avoided. We don't want that. Um, so I found out a, a new way and a new method um, in how to prevent this from happening. And uh, what you do is, is you take a cover glass and you first uh, cover the edges with nail polish very carefully, just like this, and you allow this to dry. Okay, so uh, this will now be uh, both uh, a spacer and it will also prevent uh, the nail polish from reaching the, the specimen. Um, this is, uh, I would say, probably the preferred method. Um, it takes a little bit of time and patience again because uh, um, it has to dry first. But uh, if you prepare some of these uh, cover glasses like this in advance, uh, you'll be fine. So now um, it, dry it dried for, I don't know, maybe half an hour or so. And uh, you can now use uh, these cover glasses uh, to directly make a dry mount. Of course, you have to turn it around so that the orientation is correct. In this case, I simply forgot to add a sample specimen, but I think it's also not so important right now because I think you get the point. Um, and uh, now I use nail polish uh, to seal off the edges. And uh, this now um, gives it sufficient space uh, between the cover glass and the slide and also the nail polish is not able to contact the specimen um, because the nail polish on the side is able to simply block uh, the flow of, uh, of the nail polish. Yeah? So um, of course it goes without saying that uh, here again you can trim off uh, all of the excess. And I think this is a very uh, convenient way um, of also making a dry mounted slide. Yeah, so right now I'm, I'm trimming off uh, all of the X's, as you can see, and it did not uh, work quite well because I simply was not patient enough uh, to wait uh, sufficiently long. Um, actually, this uh, is uh, one of more of the fun parts here, <laughs> trimming this off. Yeah. This uh, actually makes a very stable uh, a stable slide uh, because the nail polish uh, is able to stick uh, the cover glass to the uh, slide quite quite well. And which uh, specimens uh, work well? Anything that is uh, flat and thin and dry, of course. Um, for example, insect wings work very well. Uh, dust specimens, dust, uh, collected dust, uh, pollen. Um, also, for example, fur and hair of, of animals, that's a possibility. Um, generally, I would uh, recommend anything that does not change its shape and structure too much when it's dry. So, for example, if you want to make a, a permanently dry mounted permanent slide of, uh, let's say, water, uh, water organisms, that's not a very good idea because you'd have to dry uh, the, the algae or whatever you have and uh, then place a cover glass directly on top of it but the drying process actually makes them shrink and shrivel um, so you have a big uh, yeah a big uh, destruction of the specimen during the drying process um, but otherwise I would simply say that it's a possibility many possibilities uh, for experimentation um, another very simple way of uh, of making a, a dryly mounted permanent slide is is um, actually take a, a, a piece of a sticky tape and then use that to collect uh, specimen for example, dust or pollen from somewhere, um, and then use simply the tape and, and tape it on, 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 the, uh, on the glass slide. Of course, the glue of the tape will also interfere a little bit with the whole thing, and the image is, quality is not that great, obviously, uh, but even that would work under certain circumstances. It depends a little bit what your intentions are, uh, but that would be maybe one of the easiest ways of actually collecting specimens from somewhere, so simply by using sticky tape. And of course, the easiest way is simply to use some sticky tape um, to collect uh, some specimen. This is uh, good for sampling not only fibers, but also dust and pollen. And the sticky tape can be placed directly on the slide. Um, and uh, then it goes under the microscope and you can actually also do a, a dust count or pollen count or whatever you want to do. Images are probably not, yeah. If your specimen is not uh, dry, um, then one possibility could be is that you place it into um, concentrated alcohol for several days and then you allow the alcohol to evaporate. But be, uh, be aware that this uh, treatment actually causes many specimens to shrink, okay, especially cellular structures and so on. They shrink when you place them into alcohol because this kind of pulls out the water. Um, but uh, in any case, do not make a permanently mounted slide if the specimen is still a little bit moist uh, because when you actually seal the cover glass, then this prevents water from uh, evaporating um, and therefore this means that uh, actually decomposition can take place of the specimen you don't want that either so just make sure it's always completely dry yeah so that is uh, basically 
that's pretty much it. I wish you a nice day. I hope that this was again some kind of a food for thought. Leave your comments below. Of course, maybe some of you have even better ideas. Uh, please post them. Um, yeah, um, all the best. Happy micro hunting. Bye bye.